In 2016, a thunderstorm sent over 3,000 people to hospital, but not in the way you might expect. On the night the storm hit Melbourne, thousands of people started to experience tight chests and difficulty breathing, the hallmark symptoms of asthma. What's wild is, only a quarter of them had an active asthma diagnosis. What is going on? This is called thunderstorm asthma. While the Melbourne incident was unusual for its scale, it happens here in the UK too. In stormy summers like 2021, more people come to Amy for asthma attacks. But why it happens, we're not 100% sure. One of the leading theories is that strong winds carry enormous amounts of pollen and fungal spores high into the atmosphere. Here they get broken down into tiny particles that come back down to earth with the rain. These particles are small enough to pass deep into our lungs, where our immune systems throw on the emergency light. Pretty scary, and there's a good chance we'll see more thunderstorm asthma as the climate gets warmer. So researchers in Exeter are looking at the weather conditions associated with thunderstorm asthma and how they're likely to change under future climate change scenarios. This could help the NHS better prepare for the health impacts of thunderstorms in future, whether that's planning A&E resources, training staff, or giving advice to people who are at higher risk, like people with allergies. Climate change is going to keep sending us curveballs like this, and researchers are best chance of catching them.